All right, welcome to M2 again. Today, we are messing around with this T4 transporter and we are modifying it. We have taken the original ABA out and we are fitting this. And this is a PD-130 engine. I've made a customised engine mount around here. Right there. So the idea behind it is I'm going off the original engine mounts. The reason I'm doing that is to keep the, a nice centre weight on the engine so it will hang like it's supposed to rather than being all lopsided and out of weight and out of centre. Also, we have used the out, this engine come out of an Audi A4. We've used the inlet from the Audi and then we've got one of these EGR delete pipes. We are using the outlet manifold from the original ABL because PD19s have the same head pat pattern like inlets and outlets as the ABL. So if you, even, even if you wanted to, you could use the inlet manifold off of the ABL, the turbo and everything off of the ABL. It will literally all bolt on directly straight in nice and easy. But we've done a bit more of a playing around here. So we've got the inlet off of the Audi A4 We've got a KO3 turbo, not the original one. We've used the KO3 from an old 1.9 diesel Peugeot and not the HDI. We're talking about pre before that, just the 1.9D, um, like TD. They had quite big substantial turbos on them and they could run quite a lot of boost, like quite well. So we've used one of them. And the good thing about them is the actual exhaust intake of the turbo so the turbo exhaust where the two bolt together they both use triangular mounting flanges and the bolts almost line up all you have to do is re-drill two bolts into the actual turbo housing and then it will bolt to the actual manifold so that's what we've done there um, we've got the same crank pulley on I've had to make a customized bracket around the back here which you probably can't see because of the light let's get some light and the back there, so we've got a customised bracket here made to suspect to support the output shaft of the actual transmission. I've got the sump from a T5 1.9 transporter because the engine leans forwards in them. So I've got the sump and oil pickup for a PD like a 1.9 PD engine. And that's bolted straight on. Had to do a little bit of modifying and chopping about. Had to groove out to get the output shaft, but it does fit. And then the side of the sump here, we just had to work the alley in to clear the actual CV at drive, drive shaft output cut. So that's that. Then, other things we did. Come around this side. We used the coolant housing from the T5. It's the one with the output on the bottom. Bolt that to the side. That's got the output for the interior heat matrix and that there will feed the oil cooler on the front of the engine. We clutch wise, we have used a G60 flywheel, a VR6 clutch, um, and a set of ABF flywheel bolts, which is off the old 16 valves. That conversion was very common for the old 20 valve turbos and things like that with the five speed boxes. Because the box on this engine is pretty much the same box, which is like an O2J, like which is a five speed box from a 20 valve turbo. Obviously the ratio is all different. The bell housing is different, but the input splines and most of the actual structure and shape of the gearbox is actually very similar. So a lot of these things will fit. And the flywheel from the G60 does flip. We use, we're using obviously the original T4 starter motor. So there we go with that lot. And then we come around the front, we're having them build a custom made uh, coolant line which comes from this pipe here and goes into the back of the water pump. Because on the PDs, the water pumps are actually internal and they are driven by the cam belt. When on the ABLs they're external, they sit on the front, so that none of that lines up. Oh, um, so we've got to make a customised one of them. Um, I think that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, and that's it. 
So theoretically, we're ready to start this, like fit this back into the engine bay. The only other thing we've got to do is obviously build a customised loom. We're probably going to run what's called a piggyback loom. So we'll have all the original loom all hooked onto the engine as it is. Um, and then what we'll then do is we'll run a piggyback loom just to run the actual engine management side to actually, and then we'll just have to put a mechanical pedal in the car. But yeah, so there you go. Hope this helps some people. Next we're going to throw it in and we'll show you a couple of pictures when it's in. If this helped, like and subscribe.